In this super interesting geometry problem, we've got the square ABCD, and it partially overlaps with the circle. And we know this side AB is 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2, and we are asked to find the area of this red region over here. If you want to try this on your own, now is the time to stop the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. This is the corner of the square, so we've got a 90 degree angle here. This angle is inside this circle, and the right angle inside the circle is always enclosed by its diameter. So we can draw the circle diameter here. This whole diagram is symmetric along this axis. So this length here is equal to this length here. And this diameter cuts the circle into two equal parts, making this part and this part symmetric as well. So we can take this triangle here and project it onto this part. We've now got a square inscribed in the circle. Now, let's put the circle's diameter here. We'll call it 2R because the diameter is 2 times the radius. We can project the diameter onto here and here. Now let's rotate the diameter like this. This part and this part are also equal to the diameter. We've now got the circumscribed square of the circle. Let's put the diameter back in here. Its length is 2R and it's the diagonal of this square. And we can always divide the diagonal by root 2 to find the side of a square. 2 divided by root 2 is root 2. We can project that root 2 onto here. We've got two equal line segments up here and down here. Let's call them X. All this adds up to the side of the circumscribed square, which is 2R. So let's write that as an equation. 2x plus root 2 times r equals 2r. We do the math and we find that x equals this. Let's keep this information up here. We know ab is 4 plus 2 times root 2. And ab and bc must be equal because they are both sides of the square abcd. Then bc is also 4 plus 2 times root 2. bc is also equal to root 2r plus x. Let's express that as an equation. We know x equals this. So we can replace x in this equation with that value. We can add this part to the fraction like this. These two add up to this. Now let's multiply both sides by 2. On this side the denominator goes away. And we can factorize it like this. On the right hand side we get this. Which can be factorized into this. Let's cancel out these common factors. And we get a nice and clean 4 as the radius. Let's move that up here. Now we can replace the r's here with 4 and we find this value for x. We are close to finding this area, but how will we do it? Let's see what we've got here. We can put an x here and here too, because x is basically the distance between the inscribed square and the circumscribed square. And it turns out we've got another little square in here, and its area is x squared. We know the value of x, so let's take its square. We do some math, and we find this as the area of the green square. Now let's take a look at this part. By this time you should have realized everything is symmetrical in here. So I can safely say that this region is equal to this. Now this, this and this can be combined to form this. Let's call it area Z. This is also area Z. And this and this too. So the area Z equals these two red regions. And let's call them area R because they are red. And we need to put a plus sign here because area Z also includes this green square. And we know the area of the green square. So let's put it here. Now we've got this area Z on all four corners of this diagram. Let's also include this circle. And by the way, the circle's diameter is 8 because we found the radius as 4. So four area Z's and one circle add up to the area of this square. And the side of the square is equal to the circle's diameter, which is 8. So the area of the square is 8 squared. And that equals the area of the circle, which is pi times 4 squared. This 4 is the radius of the circle, which we calculated earlier. Let's also put it here, so that nobody gets confused. Now let's put a plus here, because we need to add the 4 area Z's, which are all over here. And we actually know what area Z is, so let's go ahead and put that into this equation. Let's do this math, and now we divide it all by 8. My son will help us with that. Hello people, I'm here to divide all of this stuff by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, so this part cancels out, 64 divided by 8 is 8, minus 16 divided by 8 is minus 2, and minus 32 divided by 8 is minus 4. It's very good, right? Thanks a lot, son. So it turns out that the area of the red region is 8 times root 2 minus 2 pi minus 4. Pretty weird number. But that's what we found. If you enjoyed the video, 
please push the like button and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.